Brizio Fashions has a problem. Giorgi, the CEO, is having trouble tracking quick-turning trends. His competitors are doing something with social media, but are they wasting time? His CMO, Martina, doesn't think so. Social media seems like a waste of money. No, Giorgi. Digital conversations now drive fashion decisions. By getting smart with social media, we can improve new product introductions, forecasts, and revenue. Maybe, Martina, but you need to prove social media is a real business strategy, not just a fad. After convincing Giorgi to do a trial, Martina turns to BSI for help. In fashion, product cycles are fast. Hot buzz about a new product makes sales soar, but bad buzz makes things flop. Sentiment analytics can help with that. We also need to influence buzz, stir up more talk about hot products. Buzz is what we call viral marketing. With the right technology, we can pick out the trendsetters and influence them. We'll start right away, Martina, but we need a couple of things. Access to your customer database and control over pricing and orders on a few product introductions. Okay, let's get started. Five of Brazil's key competitors have Facebook pages. Two have Twitter feeds. Matt, let's split up the work. You tap into the buzz about Brazil's products. Tie that to upcoming launches with quick response pricing and ordering up and down. No problem. Cody, find the trend center, the fashion fluencer queen, and start leaking some Brazil upcoming product news to her, and see who she's influencing. Got it. Diving deep into Brazil buzz, Matt follows the real-time chatter taking place on the internet, and works with category managers to quickly adjust pricing thresholds. I correlated sentiment analytics on four new product introductions with sales reports. Trentino handbags were hot. Aruzo cosmetics were not. I had Brizio category managers change prices day by day. See this bad buzz for Aruzo cosmetics? We decided to chop the price more and clear it out. No replenishment. It was a dog. And look at this line on the Trentino handbag. Exactly the opposite. We increased the price and the margin, and demand continues to rise. We're also triggering reorders to avoid stockouts. Good work, Matt. Let me go check on how Cody's doing. I started with some customer analysis to find high volume, high influence customers who blog or tweet a lot, and who forward our email offers and have large follower bases. There are about 125,000 Brizio customers talking about their products, but only 4,200 of those qualify as the tweeting influencers. I call that segment the fashion influencers. Show me. Here's an example. Look at our fashion influencer queen. She influences thousands. If she buys a handbag, eight people in the first ring of her network do the same. Email forwards, retweets, and blog links spread her influence, and her followers tweet or blog to others. There's a ripple effect. So, what did you do with that info? I picked another new product introduction, the Florentino Perfume of the Month offer, and sent emails offering free samples to the fashion influencers. I tracked the open rate and trial sample requests. As well as purchases, also the email forwarding and tweeting activities of this group. What was the take rate? 120 of the 4,200 fashion influencers signed up and then did social media activities. The results are preliminary, but it looks like each one of those is causing an average of about eight to ten purchases by their followers. Good work, Cody. When the team regroups, Matt and Cody are ready to show Chi and Jodis how business intelligence based on social media analytics can deliver measurable results for Brizio. Brizio won big. Chi, roll this up in a nice report so I can show it to Martina tomorrow. Roughly two hundred thousand dollars of financial impact. That's amazing. Let's put it together as an executive dashboard on an iPad. And also set up a Twitter feed to show Giorgi the Twitter comments that are driving purchases of his products. Good idea, Chi. Here, have a look, Martina. Are these real results? Real dollars in Brizio's bank account. Thank you so much, Jodis. Your team of BSI Terra Data investigators really delivered for me, and I can't believe how much you could do in such a short time. I'm sure this will make Giorgi very happy. Here are the results. First experiment was hot buzz on the Trentino handbag. Tap the dollar sign icon. Is this correct? Seventy-two thousand dollars in additional revenue? 
<laughs> I knew when I saw it that bag would be hot, but not that hot. Tap on the Abruzzo I can. What? Twenty-seven thousand dollars saved on Abruzzo cosmetics? Just as I told you, monitoring social media is also a good way to chop our losses. But click one more time on the perfume icon and see the impact of viral marketing. Oh, I always knew our best customers were our best sales force, but now we have the data. Now tap on the buzz icon, Georgie. BSI set up a Twitter feed to show you customers chatting about our products. Very interesting. Good work, Martina. Oh, tell BSI thanks for my new iPad. Thanks for watching another episode of BSI Teradata. Want to know how the BSI team solved the case of the retail tweeters and made Brizio's profits jump? Keep clicking to learn how Teradata and its partners, Attensity and Tableau, convert social media expertise into profit and customer loyalty.